My name is Moises, I'm from Haiti. Perfect. Um, and could you talk us through your pruning technique? Like, how do you do pruning in Haiti for breadfruit? Yeah, uh, naturally, uh, we prune in Haiti uh, after when we plant uh, the trees, when we finish to plant uh, the tree. And then uh, after two years, we look for the uh, we look at the tree, uh, we see if needs uh, to prune. When we prune, in, we prune uh, the small tree, we cut the top. Mm -hmm. But uh, for the big tree, uh, we cut the top and then uh, we cut some branches, uh, like uh, maybe some branches uh, uh, that avoid the light, the sunlight. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we cut also some branches uh, that is um, bad for the tree, for example a dry branch. And then uh, some branches also, um, uh, which, is, uh, uh, which are not important in the tree. Because uh, <clears throat> naturally when we prune in 80, we look at uh, for the harvest time and uh, what is the main idea what is the goal of pruning mm -hmm. it is production if we need more production and uh, we need to harvest the fruit the fruit easily i mean uh, when you will pick the fruit up in the tree uh, to harvest to harvest easy easily uh, so we look at uh, the direction of the branch and then uh, we got if uh, that branch is ready to to make fruit and what is the importance of uh, that branch in the tree uh, yeah it's uh, because the goal is uh, the production and uh, the office mm -hmm. yeah so on the big trees how much do you prune how much do you know how much do you prune on the big trees and then how much on the small ones Ah uh, yeah, okay, that's a very good question. Um, in this small tree, uh, when you when you cut the top, uh, all the branch will appear, and then we'll take a direction horizontally, like horizontal. So in the big tree, naturally, uh, we we cut the top because first of all. If you already prune a small tree, and when it will become big, it is not too tall, the, that tree, okay? It is not too tall. But when you prune again, you will uh, prune, uh, for example, some top of some branch that will uh, take a direction vertically. And then um, <clears throat> the top, because it is not too tall, and uh, you put also to allow the light, the sunlight come in, in the tree. Because the tree needs sunlight to make fruit. Other branch inside uh, that uh, doesn't have or doesn't find sunlight, uh, they can't make fruit. Uh, it's uh, the importance. Yeah. Good, great. And so when you prune the way you prune, what is the result? Does the tree get bigger? It gets wider? What happens to the tree when you prune like that? Yeah, when you, the way we prune, <clears throat> the, 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 the tree is uh, spread, spread out. I mean, uh, uh, the, the branches uh, come horizontally and then uh, it has a, a shape like this, horizontally and then like this, okay? So, <clears throat> when you harvest the fruit, it uh, will be easy, you can take by hand. Uh, yeah, it's easy to, to harvest. Okay, yeah. Okay, very good. And what's the, the height that you want the trees to be? Like, what's the best height? Like, no higher than mm -hmm. 20 feet or how? 3 meters? Or what's, what height do you like to grow? Yeah, uh, it's about, uh, um, I can say, uh, about 10 meters, the high tree. Highest. Yeah, the highest. Yeah, about 10 meters. Yeah. Because uh, we need uh, the trees to spread. Mm -hmm. 
not uh, too tall. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So you don't do shorter than that. So 10, 10 meters is. Like yeah, that. sure, sure. But uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, when you cut the top, uh, I mean uh, you uh, the the tree can become tall again. But there are some other branch with with up here that can take that that direction. You need again to cut the top, something like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. But for harvesting, is that still okay height, 10 meters for harvesting, or is it difficult? So you want shorter? It's a little bit difficult, mm -hmm. but as you know, breadfruit tree is a big tree. Uh, and uh, even though, you, even if uh, you prune, uh, it will be still uh, grow, okay? So uh, for that reason, uh, I think uh, 10 meters is uh, reasonable uh, for the trees to be. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Um, and then, do you fertilize your trees in Haiti? And what what do you use to fertilize if you do? Yeah, sure. We fertilize. First of all, uh, in the nursery, <clears throat> when where I grow uh, baby trees, uh, we use like organic matter, soil, and sand. Uh, what is the importance of organic matter? Uh, it's uh, bring nutrients for the tree. The sand. It allow air and water to come in to uh, in the in the land. As, as you know, the land is the support. It's like a support of the tree. <coughs> so when you you transplant the tree, you make a hole, a big hole. In that hole, the first land, the land in the top, uh, in, in the surface. You put it in the way, and uh, the the land in the bottom of the hole, you put it in another way. But you have, uh, for example, my trees. They are in plastic bags. You water the tree before you put it in the hole, and then when you put it, you you have to put it with all the land in the water in the plastic bag. Sorry, in the plastic bag, and then when you put it in the hole. You put uh, the land uh, which uh, were in the surface, put it in the bottom of the hole. And the land uh, which were in the bottom, we put it in the surface. In the surface. Why? It's because the land in the surface is rich, more rich, richer than uh, the land in the bottom. Okay? And after you water, you, you, you water uh, the tree. And uh, for big tree, we come up with, uh, um, we can make uh, a cycle with uh, rocks or stone uh, in the bottom of the tree, but uh, you need space. And then you come up with um, dry leaves, uh, debris like vegetal, uh, vegetal, uh, like vegetal, and then dry leaves uh, uh, like uh, manure also and then you put in that cycle in the bottom of, uh, of the tree because uh, we we use uh, like uh, I can say organic matter no NPK well, I don't use NPK yeah. but I will explain after it for NPK if a person would like to use I will explain but when you put uh, the dry leaves uh, something like that uh, debris of vegetal in, uh, in the bottom uh, yeah, that is a kind of thing you, you bring for, for the trees uh, to, to feed in. But uh, in my country, I don't put like green leaves. Why? It's because when the leaves will decompose, uh, um, they, you will have like microorganisms uh, in that leaf and uh, it's become a little bit heat. The heat is not good for, for the tree. It's for that reason, I don't put uh, green leaves or green vegetal directly in the bottom of uh, the tree. I, to, to do that, I have to, do, to make compost. We make compost with the green leaves, dry leaves, um, yeah, sto um, bone, something like that, uh, in, in the compost and the uh, manure of animals in the compost. Maybe after three months, the compost is ready. I can 
hutan decompose uh, in the tree. But for NPK, I don't use NPK, but anybody who wants to use NPK, you have to look at, look at uh, the spread of uh, the branch. Where the branch, for example, I am a tree, and here is the, the, the spread of the branch. And uh, you, you, you can make a cycle in uh, the spread of the branch, not exactly in the bottom of the tree, and then you use NPK. But uh, that's another, another thing. And how much NPK do you use? I don't use NPK, as I said. <laughs> I only give a, an explanation if any, anyone wants to use an NPK or to use that. I see. Yeah. Okay, very good. Um, and then do you fertilize after it's implanted? After every year or something? Do you fertilize, you know, or you just fertilize one time or compost one time when it's planted and then no more? Yeah, you talk about the trees. Trees, yeah. Do you fertilize the trees after they're planted already? Like year one, year two, year three? Yeah, I fertilize, as I told, I use organic matter uh, for the baby tree in the nursery, okay? But uh, I mix them with this uh, with sand and then land. Mm -hmm. That depends on uh, the type of land we have. Because uh, if uh, the land needs sand, you can see because the sand, uh, sand, uh, sand is uh, very important for, for water and air, as I told before. Mm -hmm. But uh, for, <clears throat> for the big tree, uh in the bottom you i put uh, like dry leaves uh, the beautiful uh, vegetal something like that uh, vegetal in the in the bottom of uh, of the tree um <clears throat> we can for if you have the tree you can see when it needs like organic matter because uh uh you're supposed to make sure the tree is in the good health and uh, it, it is uh, still strong. He has very green leaves. Yeah, to do that. Okay, so it's not set time. Just when you, when the tree needs it, then you fertilize. Uh, yeah, I don't focus about the time. The time really. Okay, I'm looking for my tree, and then I say I it, it needs something. Or every time I have, uh, for example, dry leaves and the iPod. Yeah. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. And then, do you intercrop your breadfruit? Do you plant it with other different trees or other plants? How do you do it? Sure, sure, sure. <clears throat> uh, we can plant our breadfruit. Uh, a, for example, it is a uh, like big tree. You can plant it uh, with all the all the tree, all the fruit trees. Um, for example, in my field, I have like cocoa, a cocoa mix uh, with uh, breadfruit. I have also coffee. Because uh, they are small trees, and uh, bread food uh, provide them shadow to yeah to, to stay. Mm -hmm. And then, how far um, apart do you plant your breadfruit trees? How much spacing between trees? Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> that depends. That depends. If uh, it is only breadfruit, you can uh, plant uh, about. Um, um, Eight, 8 to 10 meters but if you will intercrop your trees you need more space you can plant uh, about 10 to 12 meters that depends what kind of tree you will put between the breadfruit yeah. I see. so in the system you talked about cocoa breadfruit and coffee what kind of, if you plant like that together, what kind of spacing do you use? I use uh, 12 meters. 12 meters? Yeah, because the trees need uh, space to spread out. And then the cocoa is in the middle? Between the trees? Or? Yeah, sure, but uh, I plant uh, like, I can say, angle. Like a tri uh, triangle. Mm -hmm. Okay? Breadfruit, breadfruit, and then uh, here uh, you can have uh, like cocoa. It's like exactly in the same line. But uh, cocoa is like a triangle. Mm -hmm. And the coffee around is planted where? Sure, Co coffee and, and cocoa, they together. Together? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Um, have you ever noticed any disease or like bugs or pests on your trees? And uh, if, if you have, then what do you do to yeah, take yeah, care of it? But, uh, it's, uh, barefoot is very difficult, but in my country, 
uh, no willy disease and pests in my breadfruit trees. Only, only, only a, a pest, I can say that it is an insect that can attack a uh, breadfruit tree, its name Koshni. I don't know the name in English, but it is Koshni in French. What uh, that insect do is it come and then stink the, the skin of, of, uh, of the tree and uh, put the latex out. It's not uh, too bad. It's not too bad. Only that, uh, only to stink. But uh, I don't have, I know about that, but uh, I don't have uh, that insect uh, really uh, in my country which attack uh, my, 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 my crops, my breadfruit crops. So I don't I don't know if uh, they they are some somewhere else in Haiti, but in my field, uh, no. You see. Mm -hmm. um, do you, are there any kind of um, cultural stories about breadfruit in your country of how breadfruit came or where it comes from? Can you share any stories like that? <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Um, yeah, in my country, breadfruit came from in Oceania, Oceania. But uh, it was uh, a man who named Captain Bleach that brought a uh, bring the breadfruit in the Caribe. Uh, the The goal is to feed the slave there they come with come up with um, but food to feed on the slave and uh, so and after that people started to domesticate bread food and then uh, started to eat bread food yeah but uh, it's like a summary of uh, historic yeah the bread food do you feel or do you know anyone in your country who feels like a spiritual connection to the tree outside of how it came? Do you feel like um, any kind of spiritual connection to it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, um, you mean uh, our interesting, our feeling for, for the tree? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, uh, I can say uh, in my, in the neighborhood where I'm living in AD, uh, everybody uh, really like wet food tree and um, they use it a lot. Uh, a lot, um, but food has a very good importance in Haiti. Yeah, uh, people they enjoy. Only the problem is uh, in the harvest time, um, so many food, food, uh, but foods are wasted. So we start with uh, transformation, something like that, or we can save um, um, but food. Uh, yeah, you start about that. Um, have you ever had uh, in your country you've heard of or had for yourself where the trees the fruits will just drop off the tree like unripe and they'll just drop like if there's a bad weather conditions or they have some sort of you know, disease or they're not you know right season is wrong the fruit will just drop from the tree have you ever experienced that yeah yeah that's happened very often oh. yeah sometimes it's uh, like uh, the wind when they with the wind something like that after that and then uh, uh, the bird food, it is uh, unmature, not mature, and they come up. Yeah, that's happened. What about from drought or something like that? Is that how it happened before? Not from wind? Dry, dry so, season also. Dry season. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like in the summertime. Mm -hmm. okay. um, what's the most common way that people in your country eat bread fruit? Like what kind of food do they eat? Yeah, yeah. How do they eat it? Uh, they they boil boy by boy I like uh, they put it in water put salt something like that and put uh, in, in the fire in fire and then uh, cook and eat uh, the other thing uh, sometimes they they make flour and uh, put uh, the bread food in that flour uh, like a barbecue I can say and then eat uh, there, there is a, a common thing, a, a very, very popular in Jeremy. They make like tom tom. 
Tom Tom, Tom, Tom is a, a bread food. They cook it and uh, it's like a blend. And they blend the, 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 the bread food and then they make uh, a kind of sauce uh, like with fish, uh, shrimp, something like that. And then uh, they eat. Not, uh, they don't, it's only that they take and uh, go. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting, yeah. <laughs> Good, and what's your favorite dish, breadfruit? What's your favorite way to make breadfruit or to eat breadfruit? Ah, I really like porridge with the flour. Very good. And what, uh, you can tell me in your language, what varieties do you grow in Haiti of breadfruit? Ah, uh, yeah. What's we the have, most popular? Yeah, we have uh, so many. We have like um, cayenne, in my language, yeah, cayenne. We have uh, misket. We have um, cochon. Uh, those three varieties is more popular. Mm -hmm. Very good. And then, um, in what ways can you process breadfruit in your country? I know you said a few examples, but are there other ways? What kinds of ways do you process? Like, uh, to make flour, for example, uh, you pick up the, tree, the fruit in the tree, and then you wash it, you peel it, um, you shred it, make shred, and then uh, dry. You dry uh, the shreds, um, and then uh, you use a grinder to make flour. It's uh, very easy. So other thing, we they make juice with uh, breadfruit. Yeah, they make juice with it. Like uh, they cook uh, the breadfruit, and then uh, they use a blender. They put like milk, yeah, other things uh, to make like juice, uh, little bit fruit, yeah, just kind of, yeah. Okay, wow. I heard the juice, that's good. Mm -hmm. um, so um, they make also like compare they make bread with the bread food flour, mm -hmm. and then they make cake, uh, as I told before, they make porridge, yeah. Very good. Um, and then I know you said harvest season, a lot of breadfruit goes to waste. Is yeah. there any way to store it, you know, with a fresh fruit in any way? Um, you have to process it some way. Eh, hey, yeah, yeah. Mm, no really, no really store for fresh fruit. Uh, there are, there are some in port Prince, but where I'm living, no. Uh, but uh, I'm living far from port Prince, the capital of Haiti. And then uh, to to pick some breadfruit up to Port-au-Prince from Jeremy to Port-au-Prince, uh, you will spend. That's gonna happen. The fruit become ripe before arriving in Port-au-Prince. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. We have uh, breadfruit uh, almost everywhere in Haiti. But uh, the main market of the breadfruit is the town of Haiti. Every town, all the cities. I mean, because in the cities, uh, we don't have a um, breadfruit tree, really, in the cities. And then uh, people come from the <coughs> countryside and then uh, bring the breadfruit and then sell in the, in the cities. Uh, the other market is uh, for, for the farmers. I have about, uh, about Jamie Breadfruit Flower at Nursery, where I'm the director. Uh, we have about uh, 70 farmers. Uh, we put them together, and uh, when it is the harvest time, they come up with the fruit and then sell the Jeremy Breadfruit Flower at Nursery. So that's another uh, market for, for, for the farmers. Again. And uh, does anyone in Haiti export breadfruit to other countries? Is that I don't, or anything? I don't think so, but I don't really know. Mm, but I, I make a research about that. I didn't find anything. Yeah. Um, and then, do you use, uh, does anyone in, in your country use any part of the breadfruit tree other than the fruit uh, for anything, like the latex or the, you know, the flowers or things like that? Is there any products made from 
other parts of the tree? Uh, yeah, <clears throat> with the <clears throat> with the latex, uh, they use it uh, to make a, uh, but I, I don't know how to say it. it's a kind of gum uh, to make something like glue. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, they use it the latex. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any anything else? Anything else. I mean, do they use any like the leaves or the flowers or the, the bark for anything? And uh, there are some people who live uh, who use uh, the wood mm -hmm. <clears throat> to make a kind of drink. But for somebody who is, uh, it has, uh, I can say, like it is, uh, yeah, medicine, an important medicinal. Yeah, the wood, yeah. of great wood. And do you know what the medicine does? Like, what does it treat? Like, is it like yeah, they use the wood and put it uh, with water. Um, something like that. Uh, they make uh, a thing which name I can say that in in my own language, yeah. tisane. Yeah, they make tisane with uh, the wood, but uh, it's uh, good for human body. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Um, I think it's all the questions I ha had here, but I actually had questions for you. Mm -hmm. in, in Haiti, how? Um, you know, people eat other things too, or is red fruit like the main staple food for people? Is it like they eat rice and potatoes and sweet potatoes, or uh, is sure. red fruit mostly what people eat? Or uh, but much, uh, yeah. in the harvest time, everybody enjoy red fruit. Okay, um, but as you know, red fruit uh, uh, there is no red fruit uh, every time. Okay, you need the seasons, the harvest time to to get to have red fruit. After that, uh, they have like yams, uh, sweet potato, mango, avocado, uh, coconut, um, yeah, cassava. There are a lot of things there to, for them to eat. Mm -hmm. So breadfruit is one, one of them. Breadfruit is one season. of them, but uh, breadfruit also, I can say that everybody eat. For example, like cassava. That's gonna happen. <laughs> there, uh, there is someone who doesn't want or doesn't like cassava. It uh, doesn't eat. But like bread food, I can say almost everybody enjoy bread food. <laughs> yeah. And then, do you have like special festivals or like um, celebrations for yeah, harvest sure, time? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. In in May fest, in May fest, uh, it, it is uh, like a uh, agricultural day in Haiti. And uh, people mostly buy breadfruit and coconut. Yeah, at that day. Mm -hmm. Is there like a performances? People like dances and music. Is it kind of like? It's like a, an exposition. We uh, for uh, all the trees in Haiti, mm -hmm. and you have to choose. But uh, almost breadfruit. Breadfruit, I can say that it's one of uh, the the best or. Uh, uh, yeah, the best trees they buy, or uh, one of uh, the trees they buy more, okay, uh, in that day. Mm -hmm. But it's like an exposition, we can we expose like breadfruit flower, breadfruit tree, and other fruit trees, okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. And can you talk a little bit about uh, your company, your nursery, like how you started it and why did you start it? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, we started it. We started uh, in uh, 2012. So the name of your company. Yeah. And then explain. Uh, the name of the company is uh, Jeremy Breadfruit Flower and Nursery. Uh, we we make breadfruit flower. We grow fruit trees above all breadfruit trees, and uh, we make another product which name porridge uh, and breadfruit porridge mix. It is a breadfruit with. Uh, Corn meal, I mean, wine corn and um, <clears throat> coconut, coconut powder, and then uh, some spices. Okay, so they use it to make porridge, and we make uh, like or you can put honey or sugar, something like that, in that porridge. And then um, we started, as I told, in 2012. And uh, now we have about uh, six years since we started. And uh, for example, right now uh, we have about 1,000 breadfruit trees 
in uh, the nursery and uh, we can make more than 1,000 pounds of wet food flour per month that depends on the demand uh, customer or clients we have and uh, we have uh, our local we have a room to, to process wet food we have an office and then uh, we have uh, a whole like logistic and we have a solar dryer um, and uh, in the nursery we have breadfruit trees we have uh, avocado trees mango trees almost every fruit trees in the nursery um, so yeah that's it okay and why did you start this nursery why did you, why did you start this company yeah why do you want to do this yeah sure uh, so when I was thinking about uh, the quantity of breadfruit trees wasted each year in uh, in my in, in in my country. So I was thinking also, oh, to avoid uh, the wasted fruit. The main idea which come up, come up in my mind is what is it was breadfruit flower, and uh, I started to make breadfruit flower. But in 2014. I started the nursery to make breadfruit tree, uh, but breadfruit trees. The reason is because we have, uh, but we had some uh, old breadfruit trees, and uh, there is uh, no one, no person who take to propagate breadfruit trees. And I see that they are old. Uh, they didn't use like pruning in the tree and I say we need to innovate innovate wet food for that reason I started and I make out uh, the nursery and then um, I can say that uh, everybody enjoy wet food trees okay, and how did you learn about breadfruit did you study in school or how did you learn about so I'm um, I'm an agronomist um so i know about trees okay i know about trees and then i i did my own research about breadfruit trees and uh, when i was in the university i had course about uh, vegetal propagation like breadfruit uh, like mango avocado so uh, i have learned something about uh, breadfruit and after that, uh, I usually participate in like uh, something, some conference uh, about bird fruit, um, bird fruit propagation, something like that. And then I got some knowledge about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Is there anything else you want to share about bread fruit or Haiti or anything about you? Um, <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to. But. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what I would want to share is. Uh, I think that uh, breadfruit, for me, my dream, I think breadfruit will be one of the most important fruit in the world, maybe in 20 or 50 years. And uh, everybody can enjoy breadfruit because breadfruit is very rich. and. Uh, uh, it is special because it is gluten free. With gluten free, I mean, even if you are uh, you have diabetes, uh, obesity, you can eat breadfruit. Everyone can eat breadfruit. It is good for your body. It gives you energy. Uh, it has like iron, uh, vitamin, protein. I think I encourage everybody to to eat breadfruit and then uh, to plant breadfruit trees. Thank you. Thank you very much.